Hey everyone, it's Jet and I hope you're having a great day. For this tutorial, we'll be creating a business postcard template in Affinity Publisher. First, we'll create a template which we can use to start postcard projects. Then, we'll learn how to design a postcard from this template. Postcards are a great way of getting your business seen and to add some personal touch to your mail. Feel free to follow this tutorial with your assets. Alright, let's begin. So with Affinity Publisher open, go to File, New, Next, we'll set the dimensions of our postcard. Postcards come in many different sizes and dimensions, but we'll be going with 4 by 6 inches, which is one of the most common sizes. As our design will be horizontal, however, we'll put this in as 6 by 4 inches, so the width will be 6 and the height will be 4 inches. Now, make sure that the number of pages is set to 2, and I would suggest keeping the DPI high at around 300 as this is a project that should be suitable for print. You'll want to ensure the quality of the print is high, so anything below 300 could result in a blurred print. And facing pages should be unchecked. Leave the color as is. And for the margins, I just put 0.472 inches all around. And the bleed, I have 0.125 inches for the left, top, right, and bottom. And now you can hit create. Now the setup of your document should look like this, two horizontal postcard pages which will act as the front and the back. And now that our document is set up, we can start designing. But before that, let's save this document as template. So once we have a template set up, we can use this to make more postcards with these exact specifications. So go to File and then Export as Template. And now you can find some suitable folder for your printable postcard. Select Save. So now we can start gathering all of our assets. Go ahead and click File and then Place. I'm going to be using this one. And you will now see that our cursor has taken the shape of an arrow with a circle next to it. So click anywhere in the canvas on this page to place your photo. So now that the photo has been placed, you will notice that it's a lot larger than the canvas. So with the Move tool, this is the Move tool selected, use the corner controllers to adjust the size of the image to fit the page better. And remember that you can zoom in and out using Command plus or minus. You can hold Shift key if you want. Right, and I'll just move this right over here. So once you've got the photo approximately at the right size, you can select the vector crop tool, which is this one. Just click on that and you can use the handle to crop the photo to the size of the page and you'll find that it will snap when you get close to the edges of the page. Okay, so now we're off to a great start for the front of our postcard. So for postcards, it's a good idea to let that image be the focal point. And now let's add a bit of branding to this with a solid color. So now I'm gonna use this rectangle tool from the toolbar. And if you see a different shape here, just click on this arrow and you will see all the, the tools are available shapes right here. So I'm just gonna use the rectangle tool and do right about here. And now we're going to select the color and make sure that the stroke here is deactivated in this one. It will look like something like this. And for the fill color, we can always choose anything we want. So I'm going to use this bright color here. And now we can place some text. Select this artistic text tool. Place the text on top of the orange bar. And type in your chosen company name. For example, this is a real estate company. So you can change all the font face right here, the font size. You can also use this nodes over here. Okay, And then you can also change the color of your font like over here or here. We can repeat the process by clicking this one to create a tagline underneath but you can also drag this, hold the option alt key on your keyboard and then just drag it and we can have this a little bit smaller. So for the next step we can add a logo right over here. So for the next step we'll add a logo. So go to file and then place, make it smaller. And there you have it for the front page of the postcard. Next, let's work on the second page. Either scroll down or double click on page two in the pages panel here. And again, let's start off with a photo. Go to file, then place, and then click to place it on a canvas as just as we did previously. And we'll want this photo to have a smaller presence than the one on the front. So now let's add a shape below the photo to act as a background color and border. Or you can also click this one and hold the option, Alt key, and then drag it right about here. And then I'm just going to put it over at the bottom. And again, use the artistic text tool 
to place down the company name or we can always copy this again a little bit smaller now we can put a paragraph text down below and this time select the frame text tool which is this one the frame text tool allows us to write multiple lines within a box click and drag to create a text box like so and enter your desired text now we can copy our logo right here we can place our phone number and there's also plenty of space here for any other contact information so for our final portion we need to add that additional text area you see on the back of a postcard so first select the rectangle tool from the toolbar this is it and in the top right click and drag to create a rectangle okay this will be the stamp area of our postcard design after the shape is created click the fill area over here and select the swatch with a red line or this one the icon there, there should be no fill but the stroke will choose red and we'll do 0.4 points here as you can see you we've got the red box right here and now we need to add some lines Traditionally, this is used to write a personal message, so we'll want to keep this area free from clutter. With the rectangle selected again, then remove the stroke. You have to deactivate it. Now add a color to the fill. A black or a gray would be nice. So drag the rectangle to create the line. And you can adjust this until you're happy with the size and shape of the line. This will represent the lines which you can write an address or a custom message on once it's printed. And now you can copy and paste your shape, this line, to create multiple lines. So once you've arranged your lines and you're satisfied, your postcard design is finished. And there you have it. Now you can create a printable postcard template in Affinity Publisher and you can use this same method to design a postcard for just about anything like business, invitations, or just friendly greetings. Thanks again for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, I'll see you in the next video.